Isn't today minimum day? Mr. Roberts is today minimum day? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Sorry, this is what we're going to do. Back to the board. Why not? Whatever. There you go. Today, this one. There you go. Also, are you going to do the board? No matter what. The board. You could technically use this formula or any of the formulas for all of them. You just have to modify it. Are we just going to talk? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Might as well. I mean, it's what are you going to do with the spots anyway? Yeah, so it's not a big deal. Be more there you go. Deal more. I'll be more. Okay. So because it gives value for <laughs> x right here, like at this point right here, guys, that's end up, that ends up going to be our point n. Ready? Good. Yeah. Okay. I've been recording. Awesome, dude. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna plug it in here and here's the same concept. I have their so we're going to do three times a, and in this case, it's not going to be a. It's going to be negative two plus h squared. Okay. And then we're going to do plus 2 times negative 2 plus h minus 4 minus f of negative 2. Okay, so that's going to be minus in this whole thing right here. That's going to be 3 times negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative plus 2, two. Thank you. minus 4. All over h. And we're doing the limit of h approach to 0. So we have to be able to cancel out that h or we didn't do it. Oh, so like... <laughs> so see like right here. Now what's different from that than doing the one you were going to do? Like Bless you. The there's there's no difference. So the X is that I just wanted to use this so that you guys could see that this was A right here. Instead of F of X, when you when you have just F of X, F of X usually implies that we're gonna subtract the entire function. I didn't want to subtract the entire function, I wanted to subtract just F of negative two. Yeah. So X is A plus H. Yes. But how similar? Like, I'm just going to change the equation. Oh. I just want to see, like, really, that this test is not on if you know the formulas, because I'm going to give them to you. It's whether or not you can watch that band and use the algebra to, like, simplify things. Yeah? Okay. So, here, guys. Big thing that I want to see is the fact that you actually foil this correctly. This is not 4 plus h squared, <clears throat> it's 3 times 4 minus 4h. Plus h squared. Alright, this is going to be way too. Can we have a whole page for this? It's going to be a lot. Okay. <laughs> so, right here, my dad was in 4h. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said that last time. We did this question. Oh, I can't remember. So, we got this minus 4, minus four, minus this entire answer over here, guys. And so, if we look at this right here, this will be 3 times 4, minus 4, minus 4. <clears throat> so, wouldn't that just be 4? Yep. Okay, let's distribute through. So this is 12 minus 12h plus 3h squared minus 4 plus 2h minus 4. So this leaves a lot of room, guys, for error. You need to take your time when you're doing these questions so that you don't make a mistake because you distributed it incorrectly. Okay? So then we look at this, we combine like terms, guys. When we're doing a question like this, guys, with h is on the bottom, all of the numbers without an h should cancel out. Almost all the time. There's very few examples in which they won't, but it's pretty much you need to cancel out all your numbers. And so that ends up what happens. Like bam, bam, bam. That 12 cancels out those negative 12. Sure. Okay, we're gonna move up here for a second. Those negative 12s. Negative 12. Right, those we, negative 12. We can't move negative up there because you know there's a whole nother problem. We can move up here, right? Oh, we can. Whatever. Oh my gosh. I thought, like, I thought your video wasn't showing. Shut up. One, two video take. Hmm? Because I don't care. <laughs> I care enough to write this down, but I don't care enough. Do you hear that, Miles Brown? Atticus does not care. About <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. That's I don't care heard. about anyone except for like two people. I'm one of them. Mom, dad? Yeah, I think so. How dare you? <laughs> what? You think so? Is that what your life has come to? <laughs> no, no grudge. You only care about two no, people? No, yeah. I'm kidding. A little bit as age approaches there, guys. So check it out. We're at this point where we can actually cross out these H's and then we can plug zero in for H hmm. and we get negative, negative 10. 10. So my answer is negative 10 to this right here. Okay, so find the derivative if it exists at a specific point. We found the derivative if it existed 
at negative two, and it is negative ten. Wow. Good to do that. Hmm.